Hi everybody, it's Jojo and I'm here to do a Christmas makeup tutorial. So I'm going to name this the Lettuce to Mrs. Claus. Cause you know, even though we sent Lettuce to Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus got them too, right? So we'll name it Lettuce to Santa Claus. <laughs> Lettuce to Mrs. Claus. It doesn't matter, Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, whatever. It's like the same person. It's just Mrs. Claus doesn't have a beard. Honestly, that's just basically the difference, the only difference. Anyways, let's talk about the outfit first. So first of all, I got these bracelets on. Um, these bracelets you can get off Amazon. Really cute and festive. And then the pajama set, I, I put this in my Black Friday haul. This is from Macy's. This is Woman's. And look how cute. And I got the matching PJs. If you can... Yeah, matching PJs. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, I love this. Such cute designs. Hot chocolate, gingerbread cookies. It's very comfortable too. Candy canes. It's so pretty. So festive. This really is like a cute Christmas pajama set. You can wear baking, cookies, or watching holiday Christmas movies, opening presents on Christmas morning. Like it, you could wear this all December long. Okay, um, we're gonna use the Rudolph palette, of course. We're gonna use the Rudolph palette from ColourPop. I've been dirtying this up, so you can, as you can see, it's definitely been used. Um, I've been loving it. It matches my nails now. I got my nails done. And then um, I'm going to do a red. And then I'm also over the red. I'm probably going to put like the hot cocoa and cream lip gloss from Bath and Body Works on top of that later. Um, fragrance of the day is going to be hot cocoa and cream by Bath and Body Works, the mini. And the cream of the day is going to be Mary Cookie from Bath and Body Works. In fact, I'm going to put some Mary Cookie on right now because my hand's a little dry. <clears throat> So yeah, we have a lot to discuss in this video, girl. Um, you know, it's been about a month since I filmed my last makeup tutorial. I still have some makeup on from yesterday. Um, but we're gonna go pull through it. Um, yes. Make sure I got my tissues and everything handy and everything else. Get my makeup brushes out. So today's gonna be a festive look. It's gonna be a pretty green golden eye with a red lip. That's my goal right now. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, it smells so good, this Merry Cookie. It smells just like Christmas cookies too. It's the same scent. It's so good. Does this even have the, well, it doesn't have the keynotes on it, but I love that stuff. Okay, um, by the way, I'm currently burning um, Merry Mistletoe from Bath and Body Works. Love that candle. Okay, let's start off with um, something neutral, just for some neutral backdrop for right now. I may have to do one shade in another palette just to blend everything in the crease, but other than that, I'm, everything's going to be from this Ruto palette. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go into a mix of Independent Together. I'm going to eat, eat, and Independent Together. I'm going to go into both of those shades. And we're gonna just go right in. Okay, so this is a nice neutral shade, like neutral like backdrop shade, you know. Um, very, very pretty. Yep. The other eye, this is a nice neutral backdrop. It's nothing crazy. Of course, before I, um, you know, film, I always do my, my base, my foundation, my powder foundation. I set that, then I do my eyebrow makeup, and then I put the eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay, and then I set it with like a cream shade from one of the palettes just to set it down because I don't like a really wet, um, like sticky eye you know, when I'm applying eyeshadow, so I like to set it. And I do that before I come on camera all the time. Okay. Pull up my sleeves, girl, because we're about to, we're about to get in. What 
what to do next. I think I'm just gonna go into Christmassy time, which is that matte mistletoe green. We're definitely gonna get into the, the shit right now. Uh, the, all the all the you know current stuff that's been going on with me. I'm gonna find that brush. There you are, Jesus. So much makeup brushes. Okay, so what should we start with first? I guess I'll start with Friendsgiving because um, so I, did, I went to, I didn't do anything for Thanksgiving. I worked, that's all I did. Um, and then Black Friday, I worked and then I went shopping or whatever. But, um, and then I also went to an Italian restaurant with my friend um, to eat dinner or like a lunch on Black Friday. but. The few days before Thanksgiving, I went to Pennsylvania to visit my friend for the Friendsgiving, you know. I like to, I like my Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving, my Pennsylvania trips. It's three hours long, not a big deal. You know, it's, I mean, it's three hours, but it's not like, like I can do it. And I did it. I was, I went, I baked a bunch of desserts, baked cupcakes and cookies and stuff. And she made a banana pie, cream pudding and, um like a sweet potato pie and made a bunch of like you know thanksgiving food and um yeah i drove there and yeah she had she had the place decorated for christmas and stuff and um it was really cute really pretty it was a nice little thanksgiving dinner party that she had um i enjoyed myself i did it was a really nice time um yeah it was it was fun it was fun um so that was my thanksgiving i went to a friend's giving and um, Pennsylvania in like the fall is so pretty. Like all the leaves change all these beautiful colors. New York gets that, but not as much as like when you're driving down to Pennsylvania, like all the leaves, it's just so pretty. Honestly, it's so pretty. So putting the Christmas day time, like, you know, and like the other be there. Still put this in the crease. So yeah, that was my Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving and what do you guys do? I didn't get to see the parade. I saw clips of it though, like, but I didn't really get to watch it through and through on, because I had to work. It was fun though. I had a fun time. And then, um, now this is the point where I'm gonna have to go into another shade just to blend everything. I think I'm just gonna go into um, Blue Blood and maybe go into Minty and Blue Blood. I'm gonna go into my team blue bun. So, um, what else? I went to a candle class. So my friend last year, I don't know if you guys remember this, but last remember last year when I did my my birthday present um, home, I told you that my friend was surprising me with a candle class. We never got to do it all yet. We finally got to do it like two weeks ago. And it was a fun experience. I will say it was a fun experience. Um, I'll show you the candle here. This is the candle we made. I named it Bubbly Butter Baby. <laughs> and I put my name there. And it's called Wick and Pour. And you can put glitter on it. If you guys can see the glitter, but you can put glitter in it and whatever. It smells so good. So there was a display of like, um, of like, you know, what you wanted it to smell like. 
They only have the fall and Christmas stuff out. I guess every season they have a different sense out. Well, every every candle class is probably different. Um, but they. if I want this I may need to go into another shade too if this doesn't really work out so um yeah you got you sit in the class and basically um you know you sit there and um you make the candles so you pick the oils I picked a full apple -y fresh scent with um like a butterscotch that's what it's called bubbly butterscotch baby a butterscotch like f like sweet scent and um basically what my candle smells like it smells like a full breakfast like it's sweet but it has that freshness in it too it's real i really am happy with the candle i made i put some gold glitter in it you can change the color wax mine's like a burnt orangey red um I know you put the oils in, you put the hot wax in, you stir it. It's pre it's pretty simple, honestly. And then they they cool it for you in the back, and then they trim the wick. They trim the rope. They trim the wick. Excuse me. And then and then that's it. And then your candle's made. It's 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 really easy. It's not that hard to do, honestly. It's not that many steps. I'm gonna assume when you buy candles at Bath and Body Works and, and Yankee Candle, pretty much the same formula. They probably use better ingredients or better like. A more expensive like maybe oils or whatever but it's basically the same the same thing you know that's how it's made i had a fun time so that was my birthday present from last year girl i was joking with him i said it's about to be my birthday again before we do this thing you know my birthday is this month and there's gonna be a birthday makeup tutorial coming um i'm gonna try to film it soon I don't know if I'm going to upload it right after I film it or I'm going to wait until until, until my actual birthday, December 27th, to upload it. I haven't decided that yet. Um, but a birthday makeup tutorial is coming in the last. That will be the next one. Yeah, so that's that. Um, my, my friend is getting married and I went to her bridal shower. I went to a bridal shower last week. It was last week. It was really nice, really really cute, um, really beautiful restaurant, really delicious. They had a decorated nice. It was like a pink theme, so we had to wear pink. And yeah, honestly, I enjoyed myself. I really really did. Okay, so I think that's it. I think that worked with the blue blood. I think that worked. I don't think I need to do anything else with that. I think that worked. And right, now I'm gonna go back into Rudolph, and I'm gonna go into the shade um, Snowbank. So um. So yeah, so it was really nice. I'm really happy for her and her husband's really, her soon to be husband's really sweet. He came into the bridal show and surprised her with flowers. I thought that was really, really sweet and cute. Um, so pretty. so pretty um yeah the Rudolph palette's really pretty so I mean I don't know how much longer it's going to be on the site or in Target so if you have a Target near you if you want to order this I would do it now before it sells out because completely I don't think they ever restock this sometimes with the Colourpop they're res if they do restock their makeup collections they only restock it once and never restock it again so I would get it now if you want it honestly and I do think it's worth it Now I'm going to go into e.l.f. practice. Which is like a light, like, I don't know what to call this, like a lime golden green. So, yeah, I'm really happy for her. She's getting married in February and you know, our wedding's in February and I can't wait to go and, and, and celebrate with her, you know. She's the friend that makes my the, the cute hats and the cute bags and stuff. That's the um that's the friend um that I'm talking about. The one who makes all that cute stuff. 
I showed um, the hat she made me um, for my Black Friday haul, and that's the friend. And, and she's really creative, and I really love her, and she's great. So, um, let's talk about Dancing with the Stars for a second. You know, I, I really don't think this season was that good. I, I, I don't think this was the, a good season. Uh, it definitely wasn't my favorite season. Last season was so much better. I mean, nothing could be last season in my eyes. Like, it just was, it was just so good. And the cast was so much better last season. So, this season was okay. I don't know who I was really rooting for. I was sad about what happened with Lane Goodman. You know, he died. Even though he retired last season, I, maybe he knew a little bit that he was, you know, towards the end of his life. And he didn't want, he knew that maybe that was going to be his last season. Maybe he knew some something that we didn't know at the time. But he definitely retired last season. That was going to be his last season anyways. He was going to judge. But he did end up dying, like, right after the last season and um you know it's it's sad they like a whole tribute to him and everything this season and thank god they took away tyra banks and they made that that other she was she's she's a sister to the one judge derek i forgot what her name is but she's a she's definitely a better host than then than um than tyra however i think the best host that they've gotten since that all other guy they had for years is Alfonso Rivera. He's like one of the best hosts they've had, honestly. Okay, so now I want to do something else. I want to go into... Okay, so I'm going to go into the Rock Candy palette from ColourPop. And I want to put some, some gold on there, some gold glitter. I don't know how I'm going to apply it, but I may just apply it with like a brush of some sorts. Maybe I'll just do my finger. I want to go into a gold glitter. Where's the gold glitters? Is that... I don't know what that is. There was like a gold glitter, like... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go into it this one. This shade is called My Metamorphosis. Just like dab it in through there. Just to add some more glitter. Because I love my glitter. I just love my glitter. Like, I love to sparkle and glam. And, like, this, oof. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Do the other eye. Ugh, oh, this glitter. Just look at it on my finger. Oh my god, it's like. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that is just that bitch. I'm so glad I did that. Oh my God. That is just literally that bitch. Bless that. <laughs> Bless that. I'm telling you that palette from ColourPop, the rock candy. I'm telling you it is unmatched. It is one of my favorite palettes of all time I've ever used in my entire life. Um, And then we're going to do... um. Ice Crusher. So I want to go into Ice Crusher. This is a highlight palette from Jeffree, and I want to go into the shade Snowdrop, which is the middle one there that has a big dent in it, and I want to put it on top of the green that we just did. This is like a green glitter shade. It is so pretty. It just, it's, it's just gonna take this makeup look to the next level, bitch. 
Oh my God. Gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh my God. Look at that. It's like a green. I didn't see metallic. I can't even take it. Yeah, so I definitely think on Dancing with the Stars, I think um, the Asian girl is going to win or... Um, I don't even remember their names. I don't even know the names. I don't even know, but... I don't know. I, I think the Asian girl is going to win. I don't even know her name, but I think the Asian girl is going to win. But yeah, it wasn't their best season, honestly. So whatever. It is what it is. That's why I really didn't talk about it. I really didn't talk about it. Like last year, I was talking about it a million times because I and all my makeup tutorials because I, I literally loved the season. But this season, I barely spoke about it because I could have cared less, I'm going to be honest. Nothing could top last season. It was just too good. You see how pretty this is? Like, what the fuck? Excuse my French, but Jesus Christ. Do you guys not see that? Oh my God, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to clean it up, but oh my God, this is so pretty. I can already tell this is gonna be the bomb. The bomb.diggity.org. Oh, um, I don't know why I thought about this just now. I guess because I said like a 90s slang, but Shannon Doherty from Be Beverly Hills, I know to one now, she, she has a really bad brain cancer. It like spread to her, her bones and everything. And she said that she's, she might be at the end, end of her life, but she said she doesn't want to, she doesn't want, she doesn't want to die. It's so sad. Life really does imitate art because when you think about it, her, she had an episode on the on the Beverly Hills Nine Hundred Two One Hundred show that she had came down with breast cancer. Well, she thought she had breast cancer. Um, I remember an episode with Jason Presley that he was drinking and he got into a car accident for drunk driving. And in real life, he got into an accident for drunk driving. Like it really does. Life imitates art. I'll tell you that much. It's crazy. Put all over my hands now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Christmassy time and just clean the outer V here. I know what you guys are thinking. Where the fuck is the red in this whole makeup look? It's coming with the lips. It's gonna be there for the lips. I'll tell you. I promise. I'm gonna have to really clean this up. Hold on. I'm gonna have to really clean this up because it's got really messy under my eyes here. It's got really messy under my eyes. really messy so let me just clean this up quick it's 25 minutes okay not bad okay pretty much cleans it now we're gonna go into liquid liner we're gonna go into liquid liner shake it up a bit and then go in for the kill. So, um, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, so let me know if you were watching Dancing with the Stars. This season it's okay. Jeffrey Star is revealing a um, new collection next month, uh, next week. Some kind of um, like skincare collection. Um, I don't really care about it though. And then, um, Glam White just released a, 
like a Garfield makeup collection. I guess that's a holiday collection. I'm not a big fan of Garfield, but I'm also really not a big fan of the collection. Like, I don't know, they're, they just, nothing intrigues me out of that makeup collection, so I'm not getting anything. Definitely my favorite makeup collection from Glam Light this year were the Chucky one and Scream. That was their, that was their, like, most, I don't even know how to say it, like, their cream of the cram collections were those two. I've been reading the Harry Potter books, so I'm up to the end of the third one. They're really good. They she leaves a, they leave a lot out in the movies. I mean, they basically tell you the most important things, but they do leave a lot out. Um, but the books are really good. Like she's a great writer. I'm telling you, she created magic with that. I mean, she really did. I mean, she's an amazing writer. She's a, an amazing talent. I'll give her that. I mean, regardless of her ridiculous transphobic stuff she said, like she really. It's just, there's no com no comparing. Like, she's one of the best writers there is. If, of course, she didn't have a ghost writer, which I don't think she did. But then again, they did say it takes a whole village to write a book. And also, um, she was coming out with those books once a year. So, it's like, did she really write all that by herself every year? You know what I mean? Like, she all she did was write, I guess, for years. But she, she came out with like a new book really quickly, you know? So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to assume she, she didn't have a ghostwriter, honestly. I'm going to assume she didn't. But of course, no one would ever admit to that. No one would ever admit to that if they did. But I don't think she did, honestly. I really don't. I always like to clean that up a little bit there. Okay, and now we're gonna go into um, my concealer, of course. What else I wanna talk about? Okay, so I started laser on my arms and my underarms. So, um, I'm telling you, laser works. Like, not on the face, it didn't work on the face for me, unfortunately, but the chest and the arms and the underarms, I don't even get hair on my underarms anymore. I only do, I've only done three sessions so far and I've gotten, no, I get no hair on my underarms anymore. It's crazy. It's crazy. She did tell me that the that removing hair under the arms is the most simplest, easiest one. Like it goes really easy. Like it, there's no fuss. Like people barely need six sessions, and the hair is completely gone. So, you know, I'm excited. And the arms, I love. I hate hair on my arms. So, and the, and so the laser on the arms was a necessity for me and it's been working really well. It really has been. Like, there's barely any, like, like this, and you see there's no hair. Like, and I get my hands also done. Next, I'm gonna do um, my legs. And my, and my um, bikini area. So the bikini area, I didn't know a bit about the bikini area because I don't wear bikinis, so, you know. Um, I don't even go to the beach though. You guys already know I don't like the beach and I barely go in the pool. So I'm really not like ever wear a bathing suit anyways, even if I were to wear a bathing suit, but I don't wear bikinis. So, um, but the bikini area is supposedly like your crotch area, but not like the pews, but like in between, like the thighs, like, like in the crease there, all and then all the way up to the crack of your ass. <laughs> So, um, yeah, all the way up to the crack of your ass. I was trying to have the conversation with her in the, um, in the, you know, in the damn office, like in the room, but I didn't know how to say it without saying ass crack. So <laughs> I said ass crack, but I guess I could have said like, what, behind? Your behind? Your butt? I don't know. 
I said ass. I know it's not appropriate in like an office setting, but I said ass, whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I hate when, like, I guess shit in the crease of my eyes. I gotta clean that. This should be fine. You guys know I'm a perfectionist with like, my makeup. Like, when I'm not filming, that's why it takes me so long to get ready. Like, this is me fast. This is me being quick. Because in my um my day to day life when I'm not filming the tutorials I'm like really perfecting everything and it takes me a long time. You know what I want to talk about? I don't want your opinion on this. When you're going to a club, right? I know this is something random, but if you're when you're in the club, right, and you're with a friend or someone's talking to you and they're in your face because they they can't. I don't like talking in a club. That's not my. I don't like it. I'd rather just text you in a club and we'll talk outside the club. Like if we're in the club, just let me dance. Don't even talk to me. But if we do have to talk, do you like when people are screaming in your face over the music, like right in your face, and they're spitting in your face? Like for me, I think that's gross. Like I, for one, I think it's inappropriate and I think it's disgusting. If you're talking, screaming into someone's face like that, that close up in someone's grill, like, come on now. You should know the courtesy to cover your mouth. Me, I always do that. I'll always do that. Like if I'm talking to someone in a club and I'm screaming over the music, I always cover my mouth. Cause you're not supposed to be breathing and spitting in someone's face like that, it's gross. Like, what the fuck? Who raised these people? Like, I'm sorry, but it's just like, why do people do that? I hate that. I hate when people do that. And so many people do that. It's common courtesy. Cover your mouth, bitch. So that's on that. That's my little tangent on that. <laughs> um, right. Right you are, Harry. I'm sorry. I'm like really like getting into the book. So like, and when I'm reading the book, like I'm like, Oh, that's rubbish. Bloody rubbish, Harry. Oh, it's like, I'm really like, like, I do the accent and everything, like, when I'm reading. I do like to read out loud sometimes. It just really gets me into the mood. Like, it really gets me into, like, you know, reading. Because you're escaping into that world. So it's like, I don't know. I like to read out loud sometimes. So, and if you live with me and I'm reading, like, a Harry Potter book, you're going to hear me in my bedroom going, that's bloody rubbish, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey, Hermione. Okay, so that's on that. I still have makeup on from yesterday. I tried my best to clean it off. I was wearing um, the Harry Potter palette yesterday. I was wearing the um, Forbidden Forest shade, which is like glittery blue shade. And that glitter, it's so pretty. And I did use the glitter glue, but it does go all over your face and eyes even after you remove the makeup. It just, it stays on your face. And I did shower and I washed my face like five times and it's still the some resident of the glitter. Well, now I have glitter from the ColourPop shade I'm using right now and the, and the, the shade in the, um, Icebreaker uh, high shadow power, highlighter palette from Je Jeffrey. Someone like to really bake under the eyes here. So what are you guys doing with this holiday season? What are you doing for Christmas? So for me, my plans, I'm just gonna work, okay? But also, I have a couple of fun things planned. I'm gonna bake for my um 
friend's pajama Christmas party. She's having a pajama Christmas party, a Christmas pajama party. I'm not wearing these. These would be cute though, but I'm wearing the, the plaid ones I showed in the Black Friday home. I'm wearing like the green and red plaid from the Ralph Lauren. I'm gonna uh, wear that pajama set to the to the party and I'm gonna bake cookies and stuff for her, Christmas cookies and whatnot. And um, that's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna do a Secret Santa thing that day. I don't know. She lives in Long Island, so I don't know. It's pretty far, but I'm excited for that. And then on Christmas Day, I think, I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas Eve. I, I'm probably working, but Christmas Day, I think, I think I'm gonna be with my friends and we may go see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. And then on my birthday, I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. I was thinking the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, but if I go there for Christmas, I won't do it on my birthday. And then I'll have to do something else. But I do want to do the Sugar Factory. In fact, that reminds me, I'm going to call up the Sugar Factory very soon, either today or tomorrow, to make the reservation. Because last year, I made a big mistake. I, I tried to call, like, the few days before, and it was already all sold out and everything. I shouldn't have done that. Especially because my birthday comes the busiest weeks of the friggin' year. So I have to make the reservation weeks in advance. So I'm going to have to do it, like, ASAP. I don't even know everyone that's coming right now. I'm probably going to make the reservation for eight people but there might be more people coming. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like do a group chat with my friends and just, and figure it out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do. What should I do on my lash line? Something from Rudolph. I think I'm just gonna go back into Christmassy time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back into Christmassy time. There's a dark forest cream we use in the outer fee and everything. And we're just going to go into that. For, um... I love this green. This is like one of my favorite green shades. Honestly, I'm not even saying that. Like, it really is such a good green. It's similar to the Slyther the Slytherin shade and um the Hogwarts one. But no, this one is just, I don't know, just extra green. I don't even know. I just love it. All right, let me go into clean that up with this brush here. But that should be good enough, right? Even though I'm a perfectionist all the time. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the inner corner highlight and I'm gonna go into, um, no. Maybe I'll do North Pole, just for the shits of it. But I may top it with something else, honestly. go into Ice Crusher again and go into that same shade Snow Job just to put a little bit honestly just a little bit 
dab it on a little bit. And that's it. Let's throw from that. That's it. And I'm gonna clean that up here. Yeah, so what are you guys doing for Christmas? That's what I'm doing. And for my birthday this year. New Year's Eve, I don't know yet, honestly. New Year's Eve, I, I really don't know. I'll get to that bridge when I get to it, but New Year's Eve, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Last year, I went to a house party, but I don't know what I'm doing this year. I'm actually going to a Christmas party tonight. So this actually works out perfectly. I'm going to like a 90s Christmas party. Yeah, I'm going to like a 90s little Christmas party. They're doing a Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas party. A party, and they're gonna definitely probably play that song a couple of times during the night. I wouldn't be surprised. And now I'm gonna, oh, I gotta highlight the brows. I think I'm gonna go into Snow Job. This mean North Pole. Like I did for the inner corner too. Right, let me do this. I'm glitter all over myself, oh my God. Well, there's a Christmas makeup tutorial and I feel like glitter is a necessity for Christmas, I don't know. I love glitter. I love glitter all year round, but for Christmas, oh, especially. I just love to glitz and glam for Christmas, the holiday season. You guys already know about that. mascara share just came out with a new Christmas um album well her only christmas album and i like a couple i like um the dj play my christmas song and i like um angels in the snow those are my two favorites from her her album i always wanted britney spears to do a christmas album like her oh, my only wish this year that song is like my go that's my favorite christmas song ever so she needs to come up with a christmas album that's the only thing that's missing is like her christmas album britney spears please come out with one next year And of course, I've been, I've been listening to like my Christmas songs. I have a Christmas playlist on my phone and I have like over 112 Christmas songs. I love my Christmas music. And um, movies, Christmas movies. Oh yeah, I already started that too. Oh yeah, I already started that.
yeah the christmas movies i already started like i already watched christmas vacation and i like look who's talking now which is a sequel to look who's talking it's the christmas one i watched richie rich's christmas wish that's on disney plus and the Grinch, of course. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is one of my favorites. And I also love Folk Christmases with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. Okay. So on that, let's close the Rudolph palette because we're done with this. Such a good palette. I mean, this eye look, you can't beat it. So I love that. Um, and then we're going to go all over the... Um, Face with this powder. can't even get these Jeffree Star powders anymore online. They're all sold out. I don't know why the conceals and the powders, he's completely not restocking. I just don't get why he's not restocking them. I will say, like, his, his Scorpio birthday collection did really well. A lot of things sold out. I do think the next eyeshadow sort of powder I'm getting from him is that Scorpio one, because that one is a really good one. I will admit, he did a really good job on that, on his birthday collection. Um, now it's time for contour and highlight. Antoine and highlight. Okay, and I think for highlight, I think I'm gonna go into Ice Crusher. Which one am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna do Snowdrop. Oh, by the way, I got this new highlighter brush from, I didn't even know she had a, a makeup, Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez. I didn't even know she had a makeup brand or whatever, but she does in Sephora. And I got this new highlighter brush um, recently, Rare Beauty, I've been using this. And this is actually a really nice highlighter brush. It's been applying the makeup really nicely. Oh my god. I don't understand why Jeffrey has not made new new shades in this formula. This one is just unbelievable. The fact he hasn't is just unbeknownst to me. 
Oh my god. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's so good. Oh my god. It doesn't even need... Um, I want to top it with... I was gonna do the scream. Oh, I was gonna do the scream highlighter. I think I'm gonna top it with um, Diamond Wet Supreme Gloss from Jeffrey. By the way, I have pan on it. <laughs> I always have pan on my products. I do love using my makeup. And then I'm gonna um, highlight the temples of my cheeks with that as well. And now I'm gonna go into my clean up with the um with the light with my Candy King Jeffrey mirror. Hold on. Wow, this highlight is like, and the way this Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez highlighter brush applies, the highlighter is next level. Um, yes, 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 yes. I'm in love. I'm I'm definitely in love. Oh my god, I can't even take this. I can't even take this, seriously. This is so crazy. Oh my god. I know I'm acting like over the top about this highlight, but I, I can't. Like, it's just that good. It's just that good. Honestly. I can't. I can't say. I can't say enough great things. I can't. You know, what's your favorite Christmas movies? Let me know what your favorite Christmas movies are. There's so many good ones. There really are. chisel this nose for this Christmas party girl that I'm going to. Yes, chisel that nose. Yes. Chisel, chisel, chiseled. Now we're doing blush. So hold on. I think I'm gonna go into my um, my Sassy Pants blush from ColourPop. Use my blush brush. I love this shade. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, it's like a mauve, like rosy shade, I wanna say. It's like a mauve rosy shade. It's perfect for my skin tone. I love it. And then I just like to blend that into the cheek with my brush. Just so it's not too harsh. Because I like blush, but I don't like it that crazy. Yeah, I don't like it that crazy. So I feel like if when blush is too intense, it feels like you got punched in the cheek. You know, so that's on that. Now we're gonna do Urban Decay to All Night a Setting Spray, girl. Mmm. Mmm. So 
so refreshing. I was really patting that in, right? All right, so now this is where the red comes into play. We're gonna do red lip. I like to do my red brown lip liner. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do red rum lipstick as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do the red rum lipstick Velvet Trap by Jeffrey. Red rum lip liner. I think I'm gonna do. Should I do all you? Should I do all you filming? Okay. No, I'm not gonna draw you film. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so let me do the lip liner first. I do love red lips. I just gonna see that, right? Yeah. Gotta be very careful where red's about, cause I'm telling you that it's not a joke. It's like about reds. Like I did this. I did throw out my my Supreme glasses from Jeffrey Star, and I said in my haul, my Black Friday haul, but I had to throw it out. I had to. The thing was was that it's one thing if it gets on your teeth. But the fact that it kept getting on my teeth, like I did so many different things. I didn't put that much on. I thought maybe I was putting too much on at the, at the time. I took very little on, I kept blotting and it just doesn't work. It's always gonna get on your teeth no matter what you do. And that was the problem I had with it. And I said, there's just no, it's just an embarrassment waiting to happen. Imagine like talking to someone in the grocery store or talking to someone it's out with the lipstick on, it's all over your teeth. It's just embarrassing. I had to throw them out. But I do love the formula, I'm not gonna lie. The formula was great, it was really pretty and I got so many compliments, but it on my teeth, I just couldn't do. I could not do. So. I went in the garbage. He needs to fix that. I don't know how you're gonna fix that, but like, I feel like he should find a way that it doesn't get on your teeth. I love red lips. I love red lips all year round. I love my nudes, don't get me wrong, but my re red lip, oh my God. My mom used to sport a red lip every day. She put on a red lipstick. Her outfit and her look wasn't complete without a red lip. That was her signature, her, her signature look. Every picture she's in, you see, she has red lipstick on. I love it. It's so Christmassy. It's like such a Christmas red. I'm just dumb, but look at this. Like, I'm like, I really need a backup of this lipstick. I really do wish the Rudolph lipstick, there was a red lipstick in its collection. I forgot what it was called, Always Tomorrow. I don't know, I forgot what it was called, but I wish that was like a true red. It's actually, it's more like a raspberry red. And so I didn't buy it, but I love their lipstick formula, the ColourPop lipstick formula. But yeah, the Rudolph lipstick is just not it.
don't know about this application. Red lipstick is really hard to put on. That's the other thing about it. It's really hard to put on. Because I got just my lipstick all over the place right now. That's pretty. I think that would do. Now this doesn't even need gloss, honestly. I'm, but I do want to put the hot cocoa and cream lip gloss from Bath and Body Works over it. Now this smells just like it's just a clear gloss. It smells just like hot cocoa. It's crazy. I don't know if I want to. I think I'm gonna dab it on my finger just so I don't get it on my. But then my finger's gonna get gross. I'll just wipe it off afterwards. Whatever. It doesn't even need it though, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. Oh my god, this lip gloss smells like it's like literally hot cocoa being made in the in the pot. Like that's what it smells like. Like it's literally true hot chocolate. This smells more like hot chocolate than the mist does. This lip gloss is my favorite lip gloss from Bath and Body Works ever. It's their best formula and it's, it smells so good. Just a blot, you know? Okay, now we're gonna do the fragrance, the hot cocoa and cream, girl, from Bath and Body Works. Spray some of this on. Mmm, this smells so good. And of course, the cream of the day was Mary Cookie. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put on my Santa hat. You know how I do. <laughs> I look like Christmas morning. Oh my God. Okay. Wait, here is my makeup look for my Christmas Letters to Mrs. Claus Christmas look, girl. So it looks better. This one on the other side. I don't know. And they both look. Should I keep it back on this side? I'll just put it on that side. All right, so yeah, here it is, girl. Oh my God. And I love the Santa hat. It's so cute. But here is the makeup look. It's so pretty. Oh my God, this Rudolph palette and the lips. Mm. And that highlight, do you not see that highlight? Jeffree Star, the Ice Crusher, yes. All right, and then pajamas, Ugh, I love these pajamas. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, makeup tutorial for um, for Christmas this year, the letters to Mrs. Claus. Um, but yeah, um, or baking with Mrs. Claus, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Baking or writing letters to Mrs. Claus, something with Mrs. Claus or Santa Claus, regardless, whoever. As I said, it's the same person. It's just Mrs. Claus doesn't have a beard, girl. It's the same person. They literally look like the same person. The only difference is she doesn't have a beard and she wears like... No, she doesn't have a beard. And she wears a dress, but I mean, that's the only difference, really. They look they look exactly alike. Ooh, it's such a pretty red. Oh, my God. I love it. All right, well, Merry Christmas, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.